Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to boot your RM Education PC in case you don't know the BIOS password, in case you don't have the USB ports working. So today I'm going to use the Ethernet cable connected to this laptop. I've created the server community here. So when I uh, go ahead and open it, uh, this is what you're going to get. So we have our server running, having everything, the Windows files. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to restart the PC and click f12 in our case we have our f12 working here so when you go to f12 it's going to start the server and as you can see here it will start the dhcp server and to start loading the windows files and then to you get to reach to this point in my case here i have the windows files in my server so i can select any windows files that i have in my case i'm going to start with booting with windows 7. so when you load windows 7 uh, the server will start loading the files and the windows files will start loading then the next step here is going to ask for the username and password when the files have finished loading so when you go to that point you have to go and check the pc username on this side then that's the password you're going to use in order to access the other side so when you reach this point here you're going to wait for the files to load from our server we have a shared file um in my next video i'll show you how to configure the server and create that shared windows installation file so when you reach this point uh, this is what uh you have to wait for a few seconds then you're going to put in the password and the, the username and password so i'm going to wait for it as few seconds then it has when you see okay then you can input in the text field so right now i'm here i have my pc dell the username is called dell and i'm going to enter the password for the pc so password i've generated so that i can do this so you click enter then to start loading the windows 7 files when you get to the windows 7 files uh this is when you start loading your normal installation as you can load the windows files from the usb flash drive or cd-rom in our case we are using an ethernet cable connected up to our pc so when you reach this point uh you're good to go uh with the normal windows process for installing so in this video i was showing you how to uh how to bypass the bios password and install windows on your any pc this would work so thanks for watching if this video is helpful click the bell icon also share this video so that you can reach very many people thanks for watching have a nice time goodbye